Hey guys, good evening. Ryan Frosky moving here, Arlington, Massachusetts. We are serving the entire Boston area. We do full service moves, commercial, residential, assembly, handyman, disposal. A lot of jack of all trades, hopefully. That's the plan anyways. It is Easter Sunday. It is 725. I'm going to be checking the screen while I'm driving because I'm on my way to a job. A uh, job is supposed to be starting at 8 o'clock, which I'm not too jazzed about. But it is what it is. Got to pay the bills, kids. So here we are. I uh, hope you guys had a good Easter. Um, random video. And I'm a little disappointed because I thought my new phone mount that I ordered was going to be in today. And it did not arrive. Something else I ordered arrived. And I thought that was it. And I got out to my car and realized that wasn't it. Which means you're going to have a shaky ass video because I'm holding it with my hand. So my apologies. Um, here's what I want to talk to you guys about. So... <clears throat> Probably about eight months ago or so, I was talking to my mom. Uh, my mom has become my de facto business manager slash the person I always go to for advice. Um, and I don't even know how it came up. It doesn't really matter. But um, we were talking about a job I did. And I was complaining about something, as I often do. I was venting to her about something, some bullshit that I had to deal with and how it wasn't my responsibility, blah, blah, blah. I think the context was there was some job and I was trying to explain to my mother that if you're calling in like professionals to do what I would consider to be very difficult work, like for example, moving a piano or moving an entire house of stuff, like their main focus needs to be on those things and not cleaning um, at the end of a job, for example. And my mother kind of stopped me as she always does and didn't really want to hear it as she often does not. And she was like, Ryan, um, listen, here's the thing. You're a professional. Act like a professional. Part of being a professional is these people are calling you because they don't want to do any of this stuff. If they wanted to do it, they would do it on their own. They don't want to do it, which is why they call you. So if you guys are at a job and something needs to be cleaned, you need to clean it. That's why they call you. That's why they're paying good money. And if you expect them to pay big bucks, you got to act in a manner that's going to get big bucks out of them. And I started to hem and haw, as I often do with my mother, and complain, and ma, you don't understand, and you don't understand, you don't know what it's like to do what I do, blah, blah, blah. And she cut me off again, as she often does, and she was like, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. You made a decision that this was the path you were going to go down. So you're going to deal with everything that is required on the path that you decided you're going to go down. And if that means you're going to get on your hands and knees, and you're going to clean so that you can pay the bills, or you can pay the insurance bill, or you can generate enough money to pay you guys half decent wages, or you just want to get good reviews, you got to get on the ground and you're going to clean. And I was like, all right, okay. And I kind of got off the phone because I didn't want to hear it. And I was upset that I wasn't being told that I was a special snowflake and everything I was doing correct was correct, excuse me. And then I started to think about it a little bit later on in the day. And I started to realize that she was completely right. Um, I'm asking a pretty good healthy wage out of the people we're doing work for. And what that means is when I go in, everything that they need done gets handled. A to Z gets handled. And if that means I'm on my knees cleaning, I'm on my knees cleaning. If that means uh, I got to shovel snow in the wintertime, as annoying as that is, and I find it horrifically annoying when we go to a house and it's not shoveled out, then I got to pull out a shovel and I got to go, go to work shoveling. Um, both for my own benefit and also probably more importantly for the benefit of the people underneath me that are watching. And when I say underneath, I don't mean, you know what I mean. Um, I don't consider the guys that are working with me to be underneath me um, at all. Uh, just if I'm kind of in charge of the, uh, the direction that the job's going to go down, uh, my point is that sometimes they need to see me doing the shit work if I'm going to ask them to do the shit work as well. Um, and so I really thought about that a lot and came to realize that my mother was completely correct as she usually is, um, in telling me to cut the bullshit. Um, you don't get to pick and choose the jobs you want to do. Uh, one of my things that I'm always kind of harping on, uh, with the guys that I work with is, uh, their willingness to do anything to make us successful in any given situation. The customer is going to come to us and they're going to be like, Hey, uh, here's what you need to be successful. I need you to move my three bedroom house. Uh, I have a cat, the cat can't get out. Uh, I got a child, the child can be difficult to deal with. I need you guys to play with them. 
and uh, the building manager is a pain in the ass, and we got to make sure he doesn't get upset. And then we're handed this list of shit that we got to do to make sure that we're successful, and then we have to do literally everything on that list. Doesn't matter how small or big the list is, we got to do it. It just is what it is. Um, and one of the things I think that we're really, really good at doing is what I just discussed. Like, there's no excuses. We've been told what we need to do. We're going to do what needs to be done. End of story. So that at the end of the job, we've given you absolutely no reason that you could possibly say anything negative about us. Everything that you told us needed to be done is going to be checked off that box. And then we're going to ask you three different times if we got it all, if we checked it all before we leave. You're not going to have the ability to say anything negative. We're not going to give you that ability. So I guess my larger point with this video, it's kind of a long-winded video, as I often am, but the willingness to do whatever the hell needs to be done and take on stuff, whatever is in your frame of that job, whether it's doing an assembly job and taking out the trash, discarding the boxes, cutting down the boxes, getting rid of the styrofoam, putting the styrofoam in plastic bags, bringing it to that trash, whatever that may mean in any given job, from the time you show up to the time you leave, you should leave the area that you worked in exactly the same you found it. Usually that means you got to clean. So yesterday, for example, that meant I was on my hands and knees with a wet paper towel cleaning off baseboards because I got the baseboards dusty while I was drilling stuff to mount a mirror. So I was on my hands and knees cleaning that. It sucked. It wasn't fun. I don't like doing it. It makes me feel less than sometimes. I definitely have times where I feel like a slave for sure. And then I have to catch myself and be like, hey, listen, buddy, this is the shit you signed up for, whether you like it or not. This is what you signed up for. So quit whining, get on your hands and knees and clean the shit that needs to be cleaned. Be willing to do anything at all for your job, anything at all that's going to make you successful in the eyes of the customer. There's no such thing as it's not my job. Your job is not to move a house. It's not to assemble an Ikea furniture. Your job is to be successful in the eyes of the customer, whatever that means. That's your job. And if you take that larger frame of reference, rather than looking at like one specific task, I think it might be easier for you to focus on the little dumb minutia shit that you don't want to deal with to make sure that that job is successful. You get a five-star review. You have glowing reviews. And everyone that that person knows, literally everyone, when they ask that person, hey, do you have any good recommendations for a mover or an assembly guy or someone who could disassemble a shed or someone who's willing to pick up a dead raccoon under a stairwell, there will be no other option other than your company's name. And I hope that you guys function that way and that becomes a reality in whatever market you're in. All right, thanks for listening, guys. Happy Easter.